Hi everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you how you can identify, how you can differentiate the diamond and the quartz. You know, diamond is a different thing, totally different thing. And uh, quartz itself, white color is a very, very different thing. So people confusing when they found something quartz, they always try to ask this, maybe that is a diamond. But actually diamond is very rare to find and they cannot easily find on earth, maybe on the deserts, on, on the mountains, on the rivers, not possible. Somewhere maybe you can find, but it is, uh, it's it's uh, producing places very specific and very few. So that's why you will not be happy on the time when you find something that uh, quartz types of things. And you are trying always because I know that many, uh, many friends and viewers always trying to show me uh, on WhatsApp that uh, what they found, because basically when they found something like quartz and stones or quartz or the agates like uh, temples or something else like this, they always try to show me, they, they always try to uh, get now about this stone. So many stones are simple and the common stones not usable, not in gemstone, not uh, uh, specifically you can say the diamond, and they are simple stones and they cannot use as gemstone. So you always try to get know about them. So these kinds of things are very few and you cannot find easily the diamond. And the number one thing is when you try to understand or try to differentiate the both things, number one is the identification, you know, Identification of the gemstone is very important with the hardness. If you know about the hardness of the diamond is the 10 on the Mohawk scale. And uh, if you know about the hardness on the Mohawk scale, diamond is 10. And uh, the other stone that is quartz, that is uh, maybe 6, 6.5. So that is maximum maybe 7 can be possible on some cases. But uh, that is a big difference between 6.5 to 7 and the 10. So the quartz can be scratched very easily if you scratch the diamond on the surface or ruby or knee or uh, sapphire or the emerald if you rub or scratch on the surface of the quartz you can very easily scratch the quartz so that means that is uh, lower than the diamond hardness so that's why we cannot say that's the diamond because in the ancient times it was, it was used freely and uh, it was uh, said that is uh, just like diamond and used as diamond so that's why people confusing all the time so that is a diamond basically it is not a diamond so it's brilliance and the shining of cutting and the polishing, you can find that it's very, very similar to diamond. So that's why people confuse it. So the number second is the clarity of the diamond as well, the, uh, you can say the quartz. Quartz, you know, you often find very clean pieces. And uh, often you can find very clean pieces, or either the size is one, one gram or uh, either the size is one kilogram. And you will not find maybe somewhere the inclusion of the crack inside, but uh, basically most of the stones you will find very clean. So that's why diamond is very rare. You cannot find very easily. So its quality is the matter in the diamond. You know, you cannot find very, very fine quality diamond somewhere. You are just walking and you, you're finding something and you can find successfully. So that is not possible. So the next thing, if we talk about the crystalline structure, you know, diamond crystalline structure, some kind of diamond, for example, that uh, diamond quartz or gimmer is very similar to the, uh, to the diamond structure in the rough form. So people always confusing that is exactly the diamond. Basically, that is not a diamond. Its shape is a little bit similar to the diamond, but it is not diamond. So it's hard as the same like other quartz. So the diamond is on Moho scale that is 10. So the still thing is that quartz is quartz and the diamond is diamond. So that's why we can't say that the quartz is the diamond. So these three points always keep in mind while you are trying to get something, we are finding, you are buying something. You always try to keep in mind these three points and you will successfully get get know that uh, what is the basically stone is and uh, what is the rarity of the stone is. So thank you for being with us and please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the button for the notification of new upload videos every day. And guys, if you want to purchase any kind of gemstone from our company, you can contact with us. WhatsApp number already given in the description. You can order, you can place your order and we can ship everywhere in the world within a week. You can receive your parts. Thank you very much.